Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. The markets were relatively whipsawed on Friday after the release of the US job data did little to alter investors' views that the US Federal Reserve will remain intent on policy tightening. The US Labor Department's closely watched employment report showed non-farm payrolls increased by 315,000 jobs last month, compared with the expectations of 300,000. The unemployment, however, rose for the first time since January to 3.7 from 3.5, while the average hourly earnings rose 0.3% compared to an estimate of 0.4. Looking at the price action for the Australian dollar, we can see that the upside attempt to challenge that area around 68.65 failed and from the retreat has still put a somewhat negative aspect on the price and also pattern for the Australian dollar this week. Meanwhile, all eyes on the RBA tomorrow as expected that the RBA may lift rates by another 50 basis points. Looking at the current pattern, though, we could see a weaker play into, as I mentioned this week, to 67.35 as a potential target with the base holding and expected to hold, if challenged, around 66.80. If we can get a break above 68.65, this would reinstate the upside potential to around 70.71 cents. Euro, well, the market is still somewhat negative after posting an inverted hammer from the whipsaw price action but still holds above the key level, that is at 98.80. Now, I mentioned last week that if we see a break there, would give further indication to uh, slide towards 96 figure. One takeaway, though, is the dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies, still remains above the 109 after settling at 109.55 on Friday. If we do see a rejection, from that bottom side of the range, then the euro could look back towards the region of 1007075. But due to the dollar still remaining somewhat firm, could see the pressure returning on the downside. Also this week, eyes will be looking to the European Central Bank after the policymakers recently discussed about a 75 base point rate hike on September the 8th policy meeting, even though recession risks loom. So that's one thing the market will be talking about this week. Looking at dollar yen, well, we're still not backing away from those highs that were last posted around 1998. Nevertheless, the market is still possibly going to be edging slightly higher towards the region of around 140.70 to around 141.20.70 and reassess from that top side. It would make the market extremely overbought and along with that, we can see that the ADX is also overheating. Looking to the downside though, we do need to see a break roughly around 139.50 now to support a further downward slide, and that is towards 137.50. Sterling still at this point in time remains weak as it heads lower and closer to that objective, which was now looking at 114.50. With the risk still of a further slide, could see a re- uh, challenge towards that recent lows that we didn't that we saw back here in 2020 of March, which is a, around that level of 114. Or there was some reports that it actually got down to the low of 113. Still, we are extremely oversold on many of the time frames, and it does call for a re- at least a short term correction as the ADX is also overheating as it gets to 60. The gold, well, the market is respected at this point in time, the level around 1,680.90 after rebounding on Friday, even though the dollar still remains somewhat strong. However, the technical aspect, though, still remains negative, and therefore I feel for this week we see another down test. That is towards the level of this 1,680. If we see a break here, then it leaves little support until around 1,635.40. But from the recovery, could put a little bit of a mixed step into the start of this week and therefore weakness may be snapped up from the bottom side of this range however i'm a little bit cautious to that view due to the dollar as i mentioned being around 109 and a half and still maintaining a potential climb to 111. the inverted hammer from oil came through after the challenge to the downside at 86 dollars a barrel which is a key point 
while remaining above there, the market has found a little bit more momentum as it starts to this week, and therefore maybe looking up towards the region of 88.92, around 89 to $91 a barrel, and reassess from there. Well, that wraps it for the morning. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the Inch Day report, and I hope you enjoy the great start to the week.